fire wieners. These sound like they'd be good on a barbecue grill. But with charcoal, you know that charcoal, you know how hot dogs are. Come on, on charcoal, you fucking stupid GoPro. You Why you fucking, god damn it, it fell over like a fucking drunken sailor and it just, is it still recording? Good, it's still recording. Take motherfucking two. Raw dogging at home. Raw dogging at home. Raw dogging at home. If you got a brand to recommend, just tell me or send me and I'll try. Yes, I'm trying all these. Besides going to every place, I'm trying home brands. And today I got these Campfire Jumbo Wieners from Knopf Meats in Wisconsin in uh, Stangenville, Wisconsin. So we're going to try these out. These would probably be good on a barbecue grill. It's got that beef pork blend which is always good it's in a sheep casing it's a little darker than normal it looks almost more like a brat than a hot dog but we're gonna try these and we're gonna see if they're any good and of course we usually use the the foreman grill to keep everything rather equal because i usually try it first on the foreman grill but i think these probably be good uh deep fat uh, deep fried or air fried or on a barbecue grill with charcoal you know there's nothing better than charcoal Unfortunately, I can't do that here. Like, yeah, I'm not allowed to a uh, barbecue of any type on this fucking hellhole fucking apartments I live in. I'm just restricted. But we'll try them out on the Foreman Grill. We're going to see how they come out. They're a little fatter than most hot dogs I eat. It's sizzling right away, you can hear. This is that sizzle from the Foreman Grill, which I... I think it's the equalizer. I use that as my first thing to try is always the forming grill. And there we go. We got three campfire jumbo wieners. Campfire jumbo wieners. Will they be good? Campfire jumbo wieners or will they rather suck? I'll be the judge. I'll be the judge. Campfire Wieners on the form and grill. Will they taste good? And there it goes, the form and grill. And we put this on for five minutes. So, Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. And then we'll turn them over and we'll cook it another five minutes afterwards. T for two, and two for T. T for two, time to pause this. All right, it's been uh, five minutes. We're gonna see how these campfire wieners are doing. Do-da, do-da, are they cooking? Are they doing a good job on the foreman? Turn them all around, turn them around. Campfire wieners, turn them around. Let's see how they're cooking. Let's actually put them on this side like this. Campfire wieners, let's cook them this way, this way. And we'll cook them another five minutes and they should be done. Push it down. Yeah, there it is. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Sizzle. All right, my GoPro is not connected to my phone again, so I don't know if my picture is exactly online or not. Hopefully it is. Can you see me? I can see you. I, I hope I'm not cutting off my head. Why does this thing not want to cooperate with me? Anyway, the hot dogs are done. Let's see how they look. Well, first off, we have to unplug the foreman grill. Alexa, stop. There we go. All right, we unplug the foreman grill. And now we'll see how these hot dogs look. These campfire wieners from Konop Meats in Wisconsin. Stangenville, Wisconsin. We'll take them off. Ooh, that didn't want to come off. See, there they are. There they 
How does that look? We put them in the bun. We take the hot dog off the forming grill and put it in the bun. We take the hot dog from the forming grill and take the bun and we'll taste it. Woo woo! Gonna taste the test. Woo woo! Gonna roll a dog in. Woo woo! Gonna roll a dog in and it, and it, there it is. Nice in its bun. Of course, I made some Nathan's fries alongside of it. Always good. Delicious. All right. Now we're going to see if these campfire jumbo wieners from Konop Meats, Wisconsin, are pleasing. There's definitely good taste to them. A good rip. A good bite. Probably would be higher up on a barbecue grill if it's actually cooked by fire. But I'm going to give these... I'm going to give these a double. Almost a triple. Maybe it falls a little short to me. But I like them. I like them I like them uh, very much. I think they're very good hot dogs. And I think that if if, if this if it says campfire wieners, I think this is probably something that will probably be a lot better if you cook it actually on a campfire, which I don't have access to, sadly. Uh, so that would probably be a triple on that. So I'm going to call it a ground rule double. Where... If circumstances were better, it would have been a triple, but it bounced over the wall and the runner has to go back to second. But is that the only thing I'm going to try right now? I got a bonus review. It's a Mexican Pepsi. Yes, Pepsi bottled Mexico. You know, Mexico, they can't put that, that corn syrup that we put in there. It has to be genuine, real sugar. So... I really love real sugar Pepsi. Fortunately, I had to drink the diet mostly because, you know, I do enough taste tests for regular sodas. But for this, I'm going to do a Mexican Pepsi. See how much different it tastes from regular Pepsi. Of course, it's got the old pull top lid with the good old Pepsi logo. Wee. So, ban, dan, dan, nan, nan, bonus review of Mexican Pepsi. I don't notice that much of a difference. Maybe it's a little flat because of uh, the travels and it had to go through. But mm, it's definitely a Pepsi. I'm going to give it just a little, maybe a little lower than what I would give a normal Pepsi. I'm going to give this a 9.1. This Pepsi is one of my favorites. Probably is my favorite. So if you're going to get the campfire wieners, if you have a barbecue, probably best for a barbecue. I gave it a double. They do taste good, but probably not as good as they probably could have tasted. So, if you have any brands you think I should try, put them in the comments below. And, click like and subscribe. I want to get to 10,000 subscribers. You saw today, I put up a surprise bocce live stream. If you had uh, the notification bell, you would have known when I was doing that. And you'll know the next time I do something special like that. Good day.